In Matthew chapter 20, we read the parable of the laborers of the vineyard. In this parable, Jesus describes a landowner who agrees to pay his laborers a full day's wages for a full day's work. But as the day goes on, he sees the need to hire additional laborers. This happens several times in the course of one day. Subsequently, he pays all the laborers for a full day's work. Those laborers who worked the most hours griped, because they felt cheated in spite of getting their agreed-upon wages. The landowner, who in this parable represents the Lord, replies, Take what belongs to you and go. I choose to give to this last the same as I give to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or are you envious because I am generous? So the last will be first, and the first will be last. This parable reminds us that God's ways are not our ways. He doesn't play by the same rules of fairness. On the contrary, His rules reflect the generosity of His love. Sometimes we balk at that. We want the competitive edge over others. We tend to forget that we have already received more grace and mercy than we could ever earn. And when we see others being blessed, sometimes we think of blessings as a zero-sum game. If they get more, that must mean I'll get less. We start comparing, and perhaps become envious, resentful, or jealous. To counter these all-too-human tendencies, it is good to practice rejoicing with others when they are the recipients of unexpected blessings. Rejoice from the heart. Even better, practice some radical generosity yourself. It is a great way to experience the joy of being a cheerful giver. That is the joy of the Lord filling your soul, and that joy cannot be taken from you.